Last night on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, I will go for Spain. Not France. Not France. But France, it sounds like it might be on the south coast of France, doesn't it? Sort of around Monaco. I will go away with £8,000. That's fine. Final answer. That's, that's the last one I'm giving, yes. You had £125,000. You've just won a quarter of a million. <laughs> David, it's absolutely the right answer. You've just won £5,000. <laughs> Final answer. Mm -hmm. You had £500,000. You went for trees. If you'd gone for... Flowers. <laughs> you'd have just lost four hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. If you'd gone for vegetables, you'd have just lost four hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. If you'd gone for grain, and you didn't think it could possibly be grain, if you'd gone for grain, you'd just have lost four hundred and sixty. <laughs> Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the show where you can earn £1 million tax-free in less time than it takes most people to get to work in the morning. Right now, we've got ten very eager, very excitable hopefuls, all desperate to be next to sit in that famous chair. They all applied to be on the show by attending one of our recent nationwide auditions, so let's meet them. They are... <laughs> Julie Cable from West Midlands. Trevor Barrett from Pembrokeshire. Nick Corelli from Leicestershire. Bill Fletcher from West Yorkshire. Joan Mays from West Sussex. Peter Bryce from Northamptonshire. Ian Farmer from West Midlands. Stuart Miller from Cheshire. James Sorry from Northamptonshire. And Maureen Warrelow from Tyne and Weir. The first now, you know by now how it works. Four answers, one correct order, one place in the hot seat, and a possible one million pounds. Audience, nice and quiet, please. Here comes the question. Starting with the lowest, put these films in order of the number in their title. The 39 Steps, Butterfield 8, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and Force 10 from Navarone. Keen and confident. Right, let's see then. Uh, looks fairly straightforward. Let's see if they did it at speed though. This is the right order, starting with the lowest. Uh, fairly obviously, Butterfield 8. Uh, then Force 10 from Navarro. Uh, then 39 Steps. And then fairly obviously, the biggest one, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Right, that's the right order. Now, how many of our 10 got it right? These got it right. Not all 10 at all. Um, Ian Farmer was fastest in 4.87 seconds. Ian, that was <laughs> loved There's one left. There may be two. Open. Let's go win one again. Right, this is Ian Farmer, chubby to his mates, a house husband from King's Winford in the West Midlands. Okay, lots of luck, Ian. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Ian, question number one for £100. Have a look, take your time, give me the right answer. What name is given to a security guard who controls the entrance of a pub or nightclub? Bounder. Skipper. Bouncer. Springer. That's Bouncer, Chris. It's the right answer, Ian Farmer. You've got £100. 
Question number two for 200 quid. Here it comes. Complete the common phrase, as white as a sheet. Eider down. Blanket. Do they cover? The answer is sheet, Chris. The answer is sheet, Ian. Don't look so worried. You've got time to do. <laughs> Question number three is for 300 quid. You have got three. Let's have a look at it. What does the Cockney rhyming slang jam jar refer to? Car. Bar. Star. Tar. Car, Chris. Sure. Yes, fine. Spot on, you got 300 pounds. <laughs> OK, number four for £500. Have a look at it. Give me the right answer. You have got three last ones. Which of these was a World War II bomber? Espadrille. Brogue. Wellington. Plimsoll. Wellington, Chris. Right answer, Ian. You've got £500. <laughs> this is for £1,000. Question number five. Which thoroughfare do you walk down to relive the past? Recollection Avenue. Remembrance Street. Nostalgia Road. Memory Lane is for £1,000. Memory Lane. It's the right answer. You've got a grand. Good on me. You're a happy man now, aren't you? Yes, I am. Let's see where to go. You see, you're starting to get the taste for this now, aren't you? I like it so far. I like it, I like it. <laughs> have a look at number six, use a lifeline. If you have to, you haven't needed any at all yet. Oops, I did it again. Was a hit UK single and album in 2000 for which singer? Mariah Carey. Jennifer Lopez. Madonna. Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Final I answer. hope it's Britney Spears. Final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Right, you've got £2,000. Have a look at number seven. It's for uh, 4000 You've still got three lifelines. Have a look at this. What is the specific name for the area occupied by the choir in church? Stable. Barn. Buyer. Stall. Uh, I've got an inkling, Chris, but I'd... Uh... I'd like to ask the audience. OK. Uh, audience only keypads, please. Let's try and get Ian up to £4,000. This is the question. What's the specific name for the area occupied by the choir in church? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Uh, 88%. Um, say stall. Uh, buyer gets seven. Two, two things to barn. Uh, and three things to stable. I'll go with the audience, Chris. Is that your inkling? That was my inkling. You little liarian. OK, then I'm lawyer. <laughs> final answer? Yes, final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Question Have a look at number eight. You've got 4000 at the moment. You can play both those lifelines, still walk away with 4000 Give me a right answer, you double your money. Take your time, have a look. Which of these craft workers shares a name with a type of fishing tackle? Weaver, stitcher, spinner, knitter. That's spinner, Chris. Final answer? Final answer. <laughs> you just want £8,000. <laughs> Have a look at number nine. This would be for 16,000. But Ian, just be aware you'd lose 7,000 pounds here if you give me a wrong answer. But you have got two lifelines and you're two away from the next big milestone of a check for 32,000. Take your time, have a look at them. What's the first name of Germany's Chancellor Schroeder? Heinrich, Gerhard, Ralph, Joseph. Now, you've got two lifelines. You've got a 50-50 and a phone friend. Got I'd like to take 50-50, please, Chris. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Ian the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> that helped us all? Not in any way, shape or form. Ah. Not in any way, shape or form. OK. 
I'd like to uh, phone a friend. Okay, who are you going to phone? Either. Okay, you see. He's an old uh, friend that I used to work with. Up in the Midlands? Yes, up in the Midlands. Okay. Uh, 30 seconds, telling the question. The two possible answers, one of those is the right answer. One of them will cost you 7,000 here, one of them's worth 16,000. You obviously don't have to take his answer. You've got 8,000 at the moment. You could walk away. See what he says. Hello? Ivor! Hello, Chris. What's your... It's Chris Tarrant here. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I've got Ian here. I've got Chubby here. He's on £8,000, which is good news. Excellent. But with your help, we can get him up to 16000 Now, the next voice here will be Ian, so tell you the question. Uh, Ivor, there are only two possible answers left. He's used up a 50-50. One of these is right and one of them's wrong. OK, Chris. OK, Ian, you've got 30 seconds. Good luck. Your time starts now. Ivor. Hi, Chubb. Uh, what is the first name of Germany's Chancellor Schroeder? Is it Heinrich or Gerhard? Gerhard. It is Gerhard. Definite? 80%. I'll go with you then, I have. OK, mate. Best of luck. He's very confident because it's not his money. I'll go with Ivan. I'll go with Gerhard. Final answer. Final answer. You got eight thousand pounds. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the next part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go away. Uh, it was on eight thousand pounds. He could have walked away with that. He got this question for sixteen thousand, knowing he could easily lose seven thousand. Uh, what's the first name of Germany's Chancellor Schröder? Uh, he used 50-50, he was left with Heinrich and Gerhard. He rang his mate Ivor, who said he thought it might well be Gerhard. He wasn't 100% certain. You just won £16,000. Gerhard. How do you feel? Great. Time to go home now. We'll see what the next one is. No, no, no. Time to go home. No, no. Um, it's up to you. You've got 16000 Take your time, have a look at number 10. You're six away from one million. Bel Paese is a mild, creamy cheese from which country? You're sitting there giggling at me. Italy, <laughs> Germany, Denmark, Switzerland. It's worth £32,000. I've got no idea, I'll take the money. Take your time on this one, Ian. I have done. I've taken my time. I've got no idea. I'll take the money. Final answer? Final answer. OK, give him a big hand. Ian Farmer leaves us £16,000 better off. Well played, mate. Thank you. Tell you what, Pat looks just <laughs> delighted to get out of here. Um, if you had an inkling... Switzerland. Which one? Switzerland. Well, it's lucky he didn't follow your inkling, then, cos that would be absolute nonsense. The right answer is actually Italy. He goes away. £16,000 better off. Well played, mate. Thank you very much, Ian. Okay, we have nine players remaining. Good luck, everybody. Fastest finger first. Here comes the next question. Put these opening words from a famous spiritual in order. Chariot low, swing sweet. Shouldn't be too tricky, but let's see. Um, at speed, if they could do it. Let, uh, the right order, fairly obviously. Uh, first, it's swing, then it's low, then it's sweet, and then it's chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Right, that's the right order. Now, nine contestants left. How many got it right? Not all of them, but most of them. Who was fastest? Nick Corelli in four points, nine three seconds. So this is Nick Corelli, a DJ from Loughborough in Leicestershire. Mum Connie's up there in the audience, looking very proud. I'm watching at home. Is his girlfriend of seven days? That's time, not age. Stella, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, question number one for £100. Take your time, have a look. 
Which of these words can mean a temporary romantic infatuation? It's like you and Stella. A crush, squash, mash, smash. I'll say crush. Right answer, you got £100. Nick Corelli, what up? <laughs> OK, question number two for £200. Take your time, have a look at it. Someone in a bad mood is said to have got out of the wrong side of the what? Bath. Bed. Bunk. Bar. Um, can be said of me sometimes. I'll go for bed. <laughs> That's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> do you get a bit, um, a bit tetchy sometimes? You seem very, uh, early very calm, actually. Early mornings, I do. That's a good thing I don't. <laughs> OK, you've got 200 quid. Have a look. Question number three for £300. <laughs> Which of these is the title of a TV programme presented by Michael Aspel? Larger than life. This is your life. Run for your life. Get a life. <laughs> I'll go for this is your life. Right, answer you got three hundred pounds, no problem at all. <laughs> this would guarantee you five hundred pounds, have a look. Which of these is a wrestling hold? Quarter Napoleon. Third Churchill. Half Nelson. Full Bismarck. Um, half Nelson. It's the right answer, you got five hundred pounds. <laughs> okay, Nick, question number five. We guarantee you're going back to Loughborough with at least one thousand pounds. Here it is. What name is given to the vertical surface of a door frame? Plum. Jam. Lamb. Crumb. Those ask the audience moments, I think. It's up to you. Can you use it? Yep. OK. Yes. Audience only keypads, please. Let's get Nick up to £1,000. What name is given to the vertical surface of a door frame? A, B, C, or D. It's worth £1,000. All vote now. Uh, 68% are saying jam, 26 say plum, 4% think it's a lamb, 2% uh, think it's a crumb. Um, yeah, I'll go with the majority. You sure? You confident? Definitely. Final answer? Yep. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. That's one lifeline support. Well done. <laughs> you've still got a phone friend, and you've still got 50-50. Have a look at question number six. It's for £2,000, which I think is probably quite a few nights working as a DJ. Uh, have a look at it. It's worth £2,000. You might as well play this. You've got 1000 guaranteed. Sure. Somebody who opposes something in order to provoke a reaction is said to be playing what? Devil's Advocate. Queen's Council. Bishop's Weed. King's Proctor. I've got an inkling. What's your inkling? Devil's Advocate. Want to play? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000, Nick Corelli. <laughs> You're on £2,000. You've got phone a friend left. You've got a 50 50. Question number seven is for £4,000. Have a look at it. Tell me if you want to play it. In the world of magic, what word means to conceal a playing card? Palm. Thumb, wrist, knuckle. What are you thinking? Um, palm. Take your time. There's no uh, time limit on millionaire at all. Okay. I'll play it. Yeah. Go for A. Palm. Go for palm. That's the right answer. You got four thousand pounds. Can play it. OK, you've still got 50-50, you've still got phone a friend, you're starting to get uh, quite a handsome amount of money here. You've got £4,000. Question number eight is worth 8000 If you give me a right answer, you double your money. Have a look at it. Tell me if you want to play it. What's the only English place name to appear in the title of a Shakespeare play? The only English place name to appear in the title of a Shakespeare play? Arden. Stratford. Warwick. Windsor. I'll take a 50-50. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, leaving it the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I'll have 
to find a friend. OK. Now, who, you, who of your friends would know this? Michael. Michael? Yeah. OK, phone Michael. Um, tell him a question. Two possible answers. One of those is worth £8,000. Nick, you don't have to take his answer. Um, you can walk away with 4000 So see what he says. Hello? Michael? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Good evening, Chris. Good evening. I've got Nick Corelli here. Yes? Uh, he's doing OK. He's on £4,000. But with your help, Mike, we can get him up to 8000 Right. Now, he's used up a 50-50, which means there are only two possible answers left. One of those is right, obviously, and one is wrong. Yes. Next voice here will be Nick. He'll tell you the question. The two possible answers in 30 seconds. It's worth £8,000. All right, Mike? Right. OK, Nick, fingers crossed. Your time starts now. Hi, Michael. Hi, Nick. OK, which is the only English place name to appear in the title of a Shakespeare play? You've got a choice of Arden or Windsor. Nick. Yep. It would be a gamble. Sorry? I'm not quite... I'm not sure. OK. I'm being honest with you. OK, it's cool. All right. OK. Sorry about that. It's all right. Bye, then, Nick. OK, bye. All the best. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a great help, wasn't he? <laughs> what were the other four like? Um... <laughs> he was... Can we cut and go again? No. no. <laughs> You don't have to, Nick, you don't have to play this. I know, I know. Um, it's worth £8,000, but you don't, if, if you give me a wrong answer, you lose 3000 You've got 1000 guaranteed. Yeah. I'm going to take the money. Definitely. Sure, sure? Yeah, 100%. What would you have gone for? Arden. Take the money? Yeah. Yeah? OK, give him a big hand. Nick Corelli goes back to Loughborough <laughs> with £4,000. <laughs> and a pound of drink of water. <laughs> uh, I can tell you, if you had gone with Arden, uh, you wouldn't be sitting there with £4,000 anymore. You would have just lost £3,000. The right answer was actually Windsor, okay. as in the Merry Wives of Windsor. Give him a big hand. He did the right thing. <laughs> goes away, £4,000. Oh, right. Well Nicky. OK, we've got eight players left. Fastest finger first again. Here comes the next question. Eyes down, everybody. Here it is. Starting with the youngest, put these stages of a person's life in order. Adolescence, middle age, infancy, old age. Uh, looks very straightforward, but they've got to get it right, and they've got to get it right in the fastest time. This is the right order, then. Um, fairly predictably, infancy, of course, at first, then adolescence, then it's middle age, then, of course, it's old age. Right, that's the right order. Now, eight players left. How many got it right? These were correct. Uh, all of them. Who was fastest in that case? Maureen Warrilo in 5.24 seconds. You want to play for a million pounds? Yes, I do. Yes. So, this is Maureen Warrillow, an English teacher from Washington in Tyne and Weir. Three lifelines, 15 questions. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? OK, question number one. For £100, you got three lifelines. Here it comes. Which of these is a type of financial institution? Blood bank, merchant bank, river bank, bottle bank. It's a merchant bank. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> so let's see how long you can stay on your hands. Right, you've got £100. Question number two for £200. You have got three lifelines. Take your time, look at each one as it comes up. This is for 200 Which phrase refers to an enforced or hurried wedding? Harpoon wedding. Shotgun wedding. Tomahawk wedding. Battle axe wedding. It's a shotgun wedding. It's a shotgun wedding. You've got £200. <laughs> Question number three is for 300 quid. Who are most likely to belong to the WI? Warriors, 
women, wizards, whippets. Women, Chris. Not whippets. No, women. It's to not the, the Whippets Institute. It's the White House. You've got three hundred pounds. Okay, question number four for 500 quid. Take your time, have a look, no problem so far. Which word means of or relating to Cornwall? Cornish. Corny. Cornwallish. Corniche. It's a Cornish. And final answer? Yes, my final answer. The right answer, you've got 500 pounds, Maureen. <laughs> Question number five will guarantee you £1,000. Here it comes. A well-informed person is said to know which vegetables? Peas, beans, onions, sprouts. I think the answer is onions. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> you know you have. <laughs> right, you've got £1,000. You might as well play this because it's um, guaranteed a thousand anyway. This is for two thousand. Here it comes. Which of these was a TV show of the nineteen seventies? The Adams Alliance, the Brady Bunch, the Carrington Crowd, the Dimbleby Drove. It was the Brady Bunch. Final answer. The final answer. The Brady Bunch. It's the right answer, you got £2,000. <laughs> so, have you got enough money yet to move Simon out? <laughs> no. How old is he, your boy? <clears throat> He's 25. 25, big lump. <laughs> OK, you got £2,000. Uh, you haven't needed any lifelines yet. Question number seven is for £4,000. The teams Wasps, Saracens and Harlequins are associated with which sport? Rugby union, cricket, speedway, football. What do you think, Maureen? I'm not sure. Got a clue? Um, I think that I'll ask the audience. OK, this is the question then, everybody. Let's get Maureen up to £4,000. This is the question. The teams Wasps, Saracens and Harlequins are associated with which sport, A, B, C or D? It's worth £4,000 to Maureen. All vote now. That's, um, that's quite high. I think that I was right and I didn't have enough courage to go with it, but I think I will go with the audience. I thought you might. 93% of the audience want to play, yeah? Yes, please. Final answer. Rugby. It's the right answer. Well done, everybody. You got £4,000. <laughs> Have a look at question number eight. This would bring you £8,000. You don't have to play this. You have got two lifelines. You can still phone a friend. You've got 50-50 left. Have a look. Tell me what you want to do. Which type of jacket got its name because it was originally made from brightly coloured material? Blazer, reefer, cagoule, tuxedo. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I really don't know. It's worth £8,000. You can use both the lifelines and still walk away with 4000 I think that I will phone a friend. OK, now, who are you going to phone? I'm going to phone my friend, Linda. Linda? OK. <coughs> Where's Linda? Town and where? Yes. OK. Hello? Linda? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I've got uh, Maureen here, Maureen Warrelow. She's yes. on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with us. She's on £4,000, which is good news. Uh, with your help, we can get her up to £8,000, though. OK. Right. Uh, Linda, the next voice you hear will be Maureen. She'll tell you the question. There are four <laughs> possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth £8,000. OK. Right. OK, Maureen, lots of luck. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Which type of jacket 
got its name because it was originally made from brightly coloured material. The choices are blazer, reefer, cagoule and tuxedo. I'm sorry, it would have to be a guess, Maureen. Would you like to guess? Blazer, reefer, cagoule or tuxedo? Blazer. Thank you. Thank you. It's up to you. I'll have to do 50-50. OK. I can to take away two wrong answers, leave more in the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. We'll go with ble blazer. <laughs> blazer? That was for the fire. <laughs> Final answer. Blazer. You had £4,000. You just won £8,000. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Your face! Eight thousand pounds. Feel good? Yes. No lifelines. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no lifelines, but you've got eight thousand pounds. Have a look at number nine. It's worth sixteen thousand pounds. Tell me if you want to play this. Which of these was a number one chart hit for Engelbert Humperdinck? The last March. The last rumba, the last tango, the last waltz. Why are you looking at me like that? Because my husband used to sing this to me. And I think I know the answer. You lose £7,000 if you're wrong. It's D, the last ones. Final answer. Final answer. Your husband's singing has just won you £16,000. <laughs> Fantastic. Bless you. You're all right, you've got £16,000. Feel good? <laughs> OK, now, Maureen, please do not lose this amount of money. Take your time. You've got £16,000, you can walk away, but this is question number 10. It's worth £32,000. What is the capital of Bangladesh? Manila, Ankara, Jakarta, Dakar. Take as long as you need, it's worth £32,000, but you do not have to play this question. I think it's Dakar. But I'm not certain that I want to risk that. I want to think about it for right, just another minute. Right. It's critical, so take as long as you need. <laughs> What's the capital of Bangladesh? Manila, Ankara, Jakarta, or Dakar? It's worth £32,000. I think it's Dakar. Final answer. D. Dakar. Oh, oh. Um, too many oohs. It's gone orange, you can't go back, you know. Okay. That? Did you afford to lose £15,000? No. Well, you haven't. You just won thirty-two thousand. Oh, I love doing the show. Thirty-two thousand pounds. Have a look at question number eleven. You might as well play this. Yes. Yes. Go away, get it. Yes. Question number eleven is for sixty-four thousand pounds. Huge amount of money. Take your time. You're five away from a million. Have a look at question number eleven. It's for sixty-four thousand pounds. Which writer is most associated with the phrase, and so to bed? John Evelyn, Geoffrey Chaucer, Charles Dickens, Samuel Pepys. It's worth £64,000. I 
think that Samuel Pepys said it um, at the end of writing in his diary. That's what I think. Um, I think that I'll answer the question and um, I will say Samuel Pepys. Final answer. Yes, final answer. You've just won £64,000! <laughs> Feel. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at this one. Yes. Sixty-four thousand pounds. So nice. Big difference to your life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now you're four away from a million. Maureen, this is where you could drop a lot of money. You've got sixty-four thousand pounds. If you give me a right answer to the next question. You win one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Have a look at it. It's question number twelve of the possible fifteen. You are four away from one million pounds. Take your time. This is question number twelve. In 1939, American millionaire businessman Howard Hughes acquired control of which airline? Pan American Airlines, Trans World Airlines, United Airlines. American Airlines. It's worth £125,000. You don't have to play this, but it's worth £125,000. I am not certain, and I'm not going to risk that money. I'm going to take the money. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are you, um... You look as if you've got quite a good idea, though, actually. Um, you did when it came up. If I had 50-50, I'd be quite happy. And if I could phone a friend, I'd be delighted. <laughs> yeah, you used that a while back. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, you can take the money, of course you can. It's yes. a huge check, but mm -hmm. just interesting, because you, your eyes lit up when it came up on the screen. What do you think it, what do you think it was? Um, One came up, I thought that was the one. It got worse as it went on, so I'm going to stop now. <laughs> OK. Give her a big hand. Maureen Warrelow leaves. Go on, you can take it now. Take it. With this cheque for £64,000. I can tell you, actually, the right answer... And Maureen, I don't think you could care less, but I can tell you the right answer, actually, how it used acquired control of Trans World Airlines. Trans World Airlines. You did know it. Hey, she goes away with £64,000. <laughs> Bless you, darling. Have a great night. Enjoy it. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that's all we've got time for tonight, and for this series, in fact, since we started in September, we have given away almost £2 million. Over the last 12 days, we've given away an amazing £840,000. And this is how they all did it. Mike Bradshaw was fast in 8.16 seconds. Michael! Uh, one, two, three, four. Who was fastest? Steve Butler in 3.73 seconds. Steve! What up, man? It's the right answer. You got £32,000. Name does just looks as if it's got that sort of. I thought Polish when it came up, and it's close. I'm going. I'm hopeful. It was very, very good. It's just like you said to four thousand pounds. I know we did it. Only two got it right. Steve Lacey was fastest yeah. though in four point okay. two seven seconds. Okay. You just won one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Thirty-two thousand pounds. Whatever happens, you want to take it. Whatever happens, you go away with it. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Give me a. How's she looking? She looks all right. She knew the answer as well. You just won a quarter of a million. <laughs> Absolutely right. You just won thirty-two thousand pounds. If you'd gone for grain and you 
didn't think it could possibly be grain. If you'd gone for grain, you just have lost 460. <laughs>